Day 11, Sermon on the Mount, Part 1. 19, 20, that's all I've got. What do you mean that's all you've got? How right terrible for you who are rich now. You have had your easy life. <laughs> he doesn't want to be rich, he must be mad. How terrible for you who laugh now. For you shall mourn and weep. How terrible when all men speak well of you. For their ancestors said the very same things about the false prophets. But I tell you who hear me, love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you. And pray for those who mistreat you. If anyone strikes you on the one cheek, let him hit the other one also. And if someone takes away your coat, let him have your shirt as well. Give to everyone who begs from you. And if someone takes what is yours, do not ask for it back again. Do for others only what you would have others do for you. If you love only the people who love you, why should you receive a blessing? For even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who do good to you, why should you receive a blessing? Even sinners do that. How could he touch her? How could he talk to her? Disgusting. No. Love your enemies and do good to them and lend expecting nothing back. And then you will have a great reward for you will be sons of the Most High God. For he is good to the ungrateful and to the wicked. Be merciful, just as your father is merciful. Save us, Jesus! Judge not, and you will not be judged. Condemn not, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Lead us in thy path, O Lord. <laughs> Give, and it will be given to you. For the measure you give will be the measure you get back. One blind man cannot lead another. If he does, they will both fall into a ditch. Why do you see the speck that is in your brother's eye, but pay no attention to the log in your own eye? Guidance of Master. We need you now, Lord. How does Jesus challenge me in my relationships? What is he saying to me about my possessions? How is he challenging me about rewards?